Life goes up and it goes down. Today, Property Lim Brothers is here in District 16, Bidot Reservoir, a one bedroom patio unit here in Archipelago. Archipelago is a low rise development that TOP in 2015 with a back gate towards Bidot Reservoir, and we're also within walking distance to Bidot North MRT Station because it has full height. I think you're gonna love this one, so let's go. Welcome to friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember. So we're at a one-bedroom patio unit here in Archipelago. So this project TOP in 2015. 99 year leasehold and ours happened to be one of the newest residential plots. So this project was developed by UOL and Singland. UOL's works include the Trevor, Amber 45, Spottiswood Residences and 70 St. Patrick. For Singland, their portfolios include V on Shenton, Mont Javos, and Poland and Blue. A brief history about Buddha Reservoir itself. So Buddha Reservoir itself used to be a quarry and today it has become a recreational park for your family to enjoy. Water sports as well as dining options available. Let's kickstart the home tour. Coming into the unit, you'll notice that provisions have been made over here by the developer. And over here, you have cabinetry that has been done up with bloom hinges. So this is actually where your DB box is located, but you can definitely add shelving to make it into a shoe cabinetry. the kitchen, you'll see that a provision for fridge space has already been made. Bosch built-in kitchen hood and hob done up. A large kitchen sink as well as a Hans Grohe mixer tap. So here you'll see that you have ample cabinetry done up for you to store away your pots, your pans and even your plates. So because this is a one bedroom unit, the developer has thoughtfully done up this pull-out dining table concept. You can actually collapse it away, which gives you a larger open space. If you were to pull out the floor plan, you'd see that we actually have a very square and spacious layout over here at 667 square feet for a one-bedroom patio unit. Coming into the unit, you would first be greeted by the foyer area and then your open kitchen. Coming into the living room, you'd notice it's very squarish and rectangular. There's also an option for you to actually do up partitions to close off this area to create a second bedroom and which will increase your rental yield. So in this development, there are only 18 stacks of one bedroom unit. All of the units actually do have the same layout. And if you're a patio lover, that will also mean that there are only 18 patio units. Stay with me If only for a moment so in the living room here, you actually notice that there are no built-ins done which means that you can do up your TV feature wall or cabinetry up to your own taste. We actually have a very high ceiling height of 3.4 meters in this entire unit. You'll actually be able to do up top hung storages in the whole unit itself. So if you are able to do up cabinetries here, that will be able to meet your storage needs. So perhaps if you require an additional bedroom, you'll definitely be able to do up a partition over here to create the second bedroom. By doing so, you'll actually be able to increase your rental yield as well. So the one bedroom here are going for about 2001 and the two bedrooms here are going for about 2004. So your rental yield will be increased from 3.1% to 3.6%. So if you decide to actually do up the second bedroom, because of the spaciousness and the high ceiling, it's actually still a very feasible idea. Coming into the patio, you would first notice that it's a very good size. And over here, you can actually have your little barbecue area. You can have your guests with your alfresco dining setup. So this patio can also be used for very functional purposes as well. So because of the water point here, you'll actually be able to shift your washer and dryer out here. And over here, you'll be able to do up some cabinetry for your storage needs as well. So something very interesting about this unit is that the aircon latch is actually top hung. So as compared to the usual layouts where you have the aircon latch being a void space that cannot be used, this is one that you can actually still do things underneath. So let's talk about the location. We're just about 400 odd meters away from Budok North MRT Station on the downtown line. So if you take three stops upwards, you actually reach Tampani Station, which is also an interchange station towards the east-west line. 
So if you want to take the train three stops down towards town direction, you'll reach McPherson Station which is an interchange to the Circle Line. So what's great about staying near downtown line is that you're easily connected to the other train lines which makes travelling to any part of Singapore easy. For those who drive, from Bedok Reservoir Road, you can make a left turn onto Bedok North Road and you'll reach PIE. Alternatively, you can make a right onto Bedok North Road and you'll reach Bartley Road East. So on Bedok Reservoir, there's actually eight condominium developments and you can actually separate them by categories. So first one would be built before 2010 and for ours here, it's actually built after 2010. So if we were to take a look at the surrounding properties in the Bedok Reservoir area, you'd see that under 900,000, your options will be limited to the one bedder units in Archipelago, Waterfront Go, Waterfront Owl, and the Clearwater. However, the Clearwater actually TOP in 2001, which means that it was built before the 2010 period. So if you're looking for a newer development, that would leave you with Archipelago, Waterfront Go, and Waterfront Owl. So our unit here at Archipelago, at 667 square feet, has an asking price of 800,000, which works out to about 1,002 PSF. And if you take a look at Waterfront Go, the one bedroom unit there ranges from 779,000 to 800,000. And that works out to a PSF range of about 1,300 odd. And for Waterfront Owl, the one bedroom units there range from 581 square feet to 667 square feet. So the asking prices there range from 750,000 to 900,000. And that works out to about 1,300 odd PSF as well. The one bedroom units at the Clearwater range from 657 to 710 square feet. With an asking price of 800,000, this works out to a PSF of about 1,100 to 1,200 PSF. So our unit here at 1,200 PSF has a price disparity as compared to the other two newer developments, Waterfront Go and Waterfront Owl. Okay, so if we were to take a look at new launches, the nearest one here now would be Treasure at Tampanese. There are no more one-bedroom units there available for sale. So if we were to take a look at the transacted price, the one-bedroom unit there last transacted was at about $845,000 for a 484 square foot unit, which will work out to about 1,800 PSF. Okay, so if we were to take a look at the financial aspect of purchasing this unit, if you were to purchase it at the asking price of $800,000 and take a 75% loan on purchase price, over 30 years at an interest rate of 1.5%, so that works out to a loan amount of $600,000 and your monthly repayments would come up to $2,071. Assuming you earn $6,000, $1,380 would go into your CPF OA every month and you can use this amount to service the mortgage. If you were to rent this out as a one-bedroom unit for $2,100, you would have a positive cash flow of $1,409 per month. If you were to partition it into two bedrooms, you would be able to rent it out for about $2,300 to $2,500 per month which will be more than sufficient to cover your mortgage repayments. Okay, so now let's take a look at the master bedroom. And I so coming into the room itself, you'll see that it's actually very spacious and very well lit because they have full height windows which will allow light and ventilation into your unit itself. So here the owners have currently fitted in a queen size bed as well as a side table and a chest of drawers right here. So if you'd like to actually put in a king bed, you definitely have more than enough space to do so. So currently you have two panels of wardrobe done up for you. So if you're considering to expand this space, you can actually build up your full height wardrobe here all the way up to the 3.4 meter ceiling. And there, you'll actually be able to do a two-tier wardrobe. For the bedroom, there are actually no built-ins beside the wardrobe and the ceiling fan. Okay, so now let's check out the ensuite. Hi! Okay, so it's actually a Jack and Jill setup. So, what this means is that when you're in the master bedroom and you can have direct access to your bathroom without having to exit your room. On the other hand, if you do have guests coming over, your guests are actually able to use your bathroom without having to walk through your bedroom itself. So, coming into the bathroom, you see that the developers have actually chosen to use a dark coloured solid surface countertop, which gives it a very nice and modern look. So, over here behind the mirror, all of the storages have been done up for you. So here, as well as over here, the developers have used quality fittings here. So you see the Duravit sink, a Duravit WC. Hans Grohe is used for the mixer and the standing shower right here. So for the standing shower right here, you do have a glass shower door to separate the wet and dry area of your shower.
All right, so now let me share with you about the facilities. We do have full condo facilities here. So in your junior clubhouse, you have a barbecue roof terrace. In your main clubhouse, you have your indoor gym. And right outside, you actually do have a full 50 meter lap pool. There's also a side gate at the other side of the development, which opens right into Bedok Reservoir Park. And in Bedok Reservoir Park itself, there is an upcoming home team NS clubhouse. So facilities there will include an indoor water adventure area, infinity pool, as well as Singapore's longest indoor water slide. So for schools within 1km, we have Damai Primary School. Between 2km, we have Fengshan Primary, Opera Estate Primary School, Red Swastika School, Telekulau Primary School, and Yuneng Primary School. To pull up the master plan, you'll see that there are no more residential plots left that have not been developed. We are the newest private residential plot right here in Bedok Reservoir. So if you're looking for a newer one-bedroom patio unit with great rental yield here in District 60 and within walking distance to the MRT, do contact our listing managers below. Thank you for staying with us through this home tour. Do hit the like and subscribe button on our Property Lean Brothers YouTube channel and keep a lookout for our next home tour content. We're also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I'm Cheryl, Property Lean Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. So we're at a one bedroom patio unit here. <laughs> oh, ready? Ready? Go. Okay, so coming into the patio, you would first do the Mac person. In, you would reach Mac. Uh, you three stops. Okay. Okay, okay, great. Okay, sorry. Toy to toy to toy to toy to toy to.